this is another this is another day the almighty jehovah has given us so beloved what do we have to do we have to thank him and pray to him so without wasting time we will pray to our god the king of glory hallelujah our lord and our shepherd this is another day that your children are still breathing. It is by your mercy and your love and your compassion. You alone deserve to be praised. You alone deserve. So Father, we thank you, miracle working God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to our King, the owner of life. We thank you for giving us a break for your children around the whole world. May your name be adored and be praised. Unto thee, O Lord, we magnify the name. The name is our Lord Jesus Christ, our savior, our comforter, our guide. We thank you for giving us a break. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. I take this opportunity to greet the viewers of Prophet Kenew for availing yourself in a daily basis to listen to end time prophets. May God Almighty bless you and may your heart desire be met by the owner of life which is our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is another day. He has given us a word. And the title of the message is The Testimony of Jesus Christ. So beloved, let us read the scripture. That is Revelation 19. And the verse is 10. So let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Revelation 19, 10 says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, See that you do not do that. I am a fellow servant and of your brethren, who have the testimony of Jesus, worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Beloved, this is the apostle John. He fell at the feet of the angel. So the angel was telling him, I am also a servant of the Most High. So don't worship me, worship only God. So this afternoon, how do we have the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ? The testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ is the spirit that is in you and I. The testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ is his word. The testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ is to repent. The testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ to accept him as your personal savior. The testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ is a salvation so that you and I, our soul, will be saved. Hallelujah. Beloved, we continue with the scriptures. What a mighty God we say. Our second reading is taken from 2 Timothy and it's chapter two, verse one. Let us hear the word of God, hallelujah. You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Beloved, the more we accept him, Timothy is telling you and I, 
that the grace of God will be upon us. So beloved, we need Christ in our hearts. It is only his mercy that endure forever. So beloved, it is time to know our maker. So this afternoon, the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ is to accept him. And the spirit of God that is in you, you have to have a fellowship in a daily basis. And without that, you are not a child of God. The more we fellowship, the more the spirit of God dwell upon us. We have to know him in a daily basis. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. We continue with Revelation 3. And the verse is 20. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Let us hear the word of God. Revelation 3.20, he says, this is by our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he will be with me. Beloved, the more you open the door, Jesus Christ will come in. The door is your heart. He wants your heart. That's why he wants you to open the, the door for him. Our savior, our king, our Lord. So this afternoon, are you prepared to open your heart so that the king of kings, the Lord of lords, will come into your heart? So this afternoon, he is asking you, open the door so that he will come in and dine with you. It is a privilege for our king to come and dine with you. Hallelujah. I will sing a song to glorify our maker. What a mighty God that we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we say. Hallelujah. Angels bow before him, heaviness adore you. What a mighty God we say. Hallelujah. Angels bow before him, heaviness adore you. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. He alone is in control. So this afternoon, he is asking you and I that I stand at the door. Whoever opened the door, the king of kings, the lion of Judah will come into your heart and dine with you. So beloved, it is a choice. And the testimony of our Lord Jesus Christ is the salvation that he died for you and I so that we will be saved. So this afternoon, have you accepted him? Tomorrow will be too late. This is the moment. The moment you hear the word of God, you have to accept. We serve a mighty God. King of glory, we give you all your glory for giving us entire message. So beloved, this is all we need in this life. The message that is from him so that we will know his word and the spirit of God that abides in us will teach us the word. So beloved, it is a choice. Have you accepted him? Tomorrow will be too late. And it is time that we repent from our dubious way and our wicked ways. The trumpet will sound any moment from now. 
So if you have not accepted Christ, it will be too late. Tomorrow is not yours. Only today is for us. We give you all your glory, King of Kings, everlasting God, for giving us a message. May your name be praised and adored and exalted. Thank you, covenanted God, for giving us your mercy. Hallelujah. I take this opportunity that the Holy Spirit, our comforter, our guide, our friend, and our protector will guide his prophet, Prophet Kenew, the wife and the children, and all that listen to him in a daily basis. May God, that's your heart desire for you all. Oh, what a king, covenanted God, for giving us a mercy. This afternoon, a message has come. May you accept the message and change of mind as tomorrow will be too late. Thank you for giving us the word. This is all we need in this life. May your name be praised for giving us a message. In your mighty name, Jesus, your word has come forth. Amen.